hello and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 video in this video with the possibility of custom variations possibly being tournament legal and rank legal I have uh, we're looking over some uh, custom variations at first I was going with Raiden then I looked at Sub-Zero and I was messing around with this variation and in my opinion I feel like this will probably be the most used variation for Sub-Zero when it comes to customs and that is his Rising Ice and Arctic Trap. And for one, Sub Zero's best combo damage and got great uh, setups with the Arctic Trap. The Rising Ice and Arctic Trap really coexist well together. As with his uh, current foot variation or Avalanche, you don't get truly amazing setups with the Arctic Trap. But with Wise and Ice, you can actually get some amazing corner setups. So, first of all, I'm just going to go basically over, you know, why I think this variation is going to be possibly the most used one and really good. As I said, really Sub-Zero's best damage. I dropped the combo. Basic B and B, 314, I get the overhead. Get 301 off the overhead. So yeah, Sub Zero gets pre uh, pretty good early damage combos. Even his question blow damage is really good, especially off his low. I dropped. Got it. Nearly 40%. Take 38-7. Ridiculous damage. Now if you get the overhead, you have to do a uh, uh, back two into ice ball to get this optimal damage off that. 36, not bad. Especially in the corner, he get devastating nearly 50 damage if you use both balls for on tip trap at the uh, Wise and Ice launcher. Really devastating damage in this variation. And now I'm going to go over uh, Arctic Trap setups within mid screen and show you options um, after you set it up and against options that the opponent does. So basically the the basic setup is 2 and 2 back 2 which leaves you at pretty minus, at minus 3. You can get a setup to where you're minus 2 and at least you're at a pretty good spot to where the opponent if they choose to lay wake up you can walk up and enforce 50-50 yeah, you can go for a forward two into slide obviously and get to the auto trap or you walk out auto shimmy walk up flow like you got so many options to deal with uh, to you know to pressure them with also um uh woes if the opponent you know throughout the match you've been doing it you know you've been doing this setup and they know you're gonna walk up and they don't want to deal with it Oh, I did the one thing. Yeah, see. Oh, here we go. So you did the setup, and the opponent doesn't want to deal with the the pressure. You can easily punish it, which I didn't punish, but you can do that. Let me do that again. If you read that they're gonna roll away, easy punish, and you get a pretty good 26. Now, if you you know, if you did a full combo like, you know, that, you get, you know, nearly half the light ball away off this, uh, setup. So you can really, uh, deal with breakaways. Now, the opponent, you know, if they do delay wake up, and they anticipate you will go for 50-50, you could whiff the 4-2. As yeah, see, there's a possible way if you immediately go, you can whiff the 4-2 and get punished for it. And if you go for a back for the two, it is a safer option. The three will whiff, but they can block the two. And then they have the next thing will be, you know, the po mashing, poking stuff will be after that. So the opponent's best option is just to basically delay wake up. They can also uh, immediately stand up and they know if you're going to rush in. You could just, um, they could just jab you if they see you coming in. But they're going to be so afraid of this, uh, you know, the slide. And the overhead 
to make him feel to plus buns. So that's when you can enforce your plusher the best. And then it makes the opponent really scale. Now we're going to go over um, breakaway setups, which breakaways is kind of basically the same. So we're going to put them on auto. So if you anticipate the opponent's going to break away off your rising eyes, you could do something like that. But if you like, you know, you know, if you do it like, you know, meterlessly, you don't have the best opportunity to go for it because if you if they don't delay wake up, they could just uh, you know punish you. But if you um if you amplify it, you know doing the air longer a little bit longer, and you get a pretty good setup if they delay. Now you see it will be plus like plus fifteen. And you can really enforce your pressure pretty early. Go for 50 50. You know, so it's, so it's kind of similar to, um, you know, the basic setup, but it's just off if you weed that they're going to break away. So we're going to go over that again. So. Oh, wait. Um. I could do the long. Do stance. So. Do a setup like this. Now it's screwed up. And we're gonna have the opponent duck. Well, they hit the archer trap, but you know, if they delay, they won't hit it. You, you, you understand the basic setup. It's basically a lot like the uh, just a wiggle one, but it's that's um, anticipating breakaways. So yeah, that's basically what um, the you know the mid screen sub C. Well, that's how it basically is. And this variation. Now we're gonna go over to the corner, to where this variation gets really really good. Now the basic setup that I do, you know, you do mid screen is basically a uh, sub zero best um, option because he's basically safe against uh, wake ups. So we have the collector who has a seven frame up free, which is one of the fastest in the game. And if you do this sack setup, I'm safe. I'm able to block. And the opponent has to, is the opponent's basically forced to use resources to either um, wake up attack or forward wall or just delay wake up and just hopefully they can block the 50 50 of what comes next. Now with Collector though, he has a uh, 10, it's minus 10 on block, and that leaves Sub-Zero with a full combo punish basically again. Bam. If the Collector uh, does do it up for me. See, see all that damage? That's a lot of damage. And basically if a collector knows he can't do that his only option really is to forward wall or delay but it gets forward wall you got options as well you can wait and punish it and put it back in the corner you do that also if you make a like if you absolutely think they're gonna go for it you could do this Oh, what I'm trying to show is that you can backdash and hit 1-2 and it'll hit the archer trap. It's it's pretty tough to hit, but I'll try it one more time. That's kind of basically what I'm talking about, but I didn't punish, but you can actually do that if you absolutely, you know, backdash early. You can actually put it back in the archer trap. So we're gonna go over, uh, you know, delay wake ups, obviously. So the opponent, you know, if they miss, you know, you got that. That's, you know, that's the uh, basic delay wake up setup. So yeah, that's basically sub zero in the corner as well in this variation. Really good setup, easy, safe against basically all wake ups in the game. Now I'm gonna go to a different character because I've kind of have this interesting setup 
it's kind of interesting, but it does have its um, downside to it. So we're gonna go. And we're gonna go to. Guess we'll just go waiting. Now the setup I'm about to show is pretty interesting. But here is the downside to it. So I have Wayne doing it up to which is um wait. Which is a nine flame startup. So basically the setup uh, puts the auto trap right to behind the opponent in the corner. If you hit the uh, two one, as you're about to see. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get. Let's see, he got frozen by it, but this is a set to where you can get it behind the opponent. It's been a while since I've worked on it. Yeah, see right there, it put him behind it and he did not get frozen. But as you see, he punished me because the, the letdown, I mean, the, the bad side of this uh, setup is that it's really punishable to very quick wake ups. Anything, as of right now, I know is anything that's 10 and below frames on startup, it will punish the setup. But anything that's higher, such as um, weightings up 3, which is 11, the setup is safe. And the purpose of this setup is it it leaves the archer trap behind the opponent to where whenever Wayne doesn't up free, uh, you know he, he does this up free attack. I'm um, pretty bad. It will leave it behind the opponent, and I'm safe. And at that point, it leaves to. Um, the next situation, well, the character is, but the opponent is like thinking, it's like, oh, the ultra trap is still up, it's right behind me. And it gives you to a situation to where you have a, the minus, so weight is minus four, which is not bad. It leads to, to a situation to where the opponent's going to most likely block because they know the minus, and they have to block, they're afraid of a mix up, or you can go for a throw. You know, go for a throw. Or you go for, you know, an auto shimmy. Or you can hit with a mix up like a back free and they'll get frozen. Now you have to do this full screen to freeze them. So we'll go over the setup again. It's really tough to hit. It feels like I should hit that. And we hit him with a back free as you see. And it froze him again. So it's a pretty interesting setup. So basically the sub's only good if the opponent doesn't have the resources to uh, wake up attack. And it's pretty good against, you know, uh, delayed wake ups. Because whenever the opponent wakes up, they won't immediately hit it and have to block it. So it leaves it to a situation to where they delay in and wait for the mix up. And you hit them with this, they're frozen. Hit them with this, they're frozen. And it leaves it to well if you, you know, if you actually go for the uh, mix up late and they, you know, they're blocking and they block the archer trap, but you hit them with the mix up, but they're already frozen. So you get what I mean? The sub's pretty good with that. It, it takes practice because you have to hit the white right point. drop the combo so that's an interesting setup I don't know if anyone's uh, I don't I have never seen this I've never seen this setup it is a pretty interesting setup but it does have its downsides but if you use it at the right time this setup is seems pretty good for what I can tell and that's kind of basically it for this video this is what I think would be Sub-Zero's um, most usability I mean most use custom variation when it comes to uh, custom variations 
if they become legal in the future of this game. So I hope you guys like and maybe you guys will find some of these uh, setups very useful online. See ya.